Okay, let's just pause that. Uh, let's hope that there's been a recent autosave. Uh, no, but this wasn't too far back. It was, uh, 13 minutes ago. You're not late. The stream is late. I was on time! It's not my fault that my computer crashed again. It crashed again, it crashed again, it crashed again, it crashed again. I'm not paying my PC enough. Hi, Kansley. I'm gonna rebuild the whole thing soon. Uh, so... Progress-wise, we really didn't lose too much of it, okay? Like, we... We lost some fast travel time, I guess. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, the fifth pillar is broken. Confirmed. I'm actually okay with this. And this is still set to... Yeah. It's still set to this shape, which is orange. Okay. Well, hello again, everybody. I hope that uh, you had a nice uh, break. <laughs> Forced break. It's been a minute since my computer did that, so, um, it was definitely overdue. Just the unexpected crash. It's really off-putting when it happens because suddenly, like, everything just goes black. Like, all my monitors go black. Gotta mount a high power fan over the VRNs. It's almost like we ourselves give off light. <laughs> we're, we're just a walking ball of light. So what we were about to do before all that happened was... Okay, wait, first I'm going to pull out this thingy and look at the console. Okay, nothing appears to be unusual. I can actually control this. I want to set it to orange, and then turn on the orange light. Orange light on. Okay, and then go back up to the top. Technically, humans do give off light, but not this much light. There actually is a light in here. Maybe we're always holding one of the books in our hands, and the books give off light. No, it's, it's explained by the little light bulb. Okay. Up again, please. Okay, the orange light is on. That would be this one right here. The orange light is on. The kinetoscope is set to orange. And I don't know that anything has happened. What if we press the button? Something happened! Turn around! No, no, wait, it stopped! This is... The dome... Stopped turning. Orange. Orange, you glad? That plan worked? <gasps> um, I'm inside it now. going on? I can't move anymore. Oh, here we go. Are we going somewhere? What is happening? Chat, we are in not- we, we are- we are in non-reality. Uh, what? Wow! Enter the starry expanse. Uh, so, remember what I was saying about rifts, fissures, and space and time, and they built the domes on top of them? That's... This is exactly where we are. We're, like, on the underside of the dome. And now we are in... space. 
Welcome to... Non-reality. And these are those little polished marbles. I just did. I feel like I did that right, whatever it was I did. What happened to... It's, it's being weird. I can't control this part anymore? Okay. We missed all that. This is what happens when you press all the buttons. Have I seen Chicken Little? Guppy made you think of it? Huh? Wait, what? The dome is over here, but it's also over there. This is a different dome. Oh, there were five domes, right? One dome, two dome, three dome. Four dome, five dome. This is really trippy. <laughs> Was that a button on the lower walkway railing? Yeah, there's... I haven't even gone down there yet, okay? Or over there yet. So now that we... We open this up, we put one of the fire marbles in here, and then we closed it and pressed the button, and now the other side over here is flashing. But this is a different dome. I came from? Yeah, that was where I came from. This is the other way to go. That is totally a button. That is also a crank. And then this is... Which one should we use first? Maybe... Okay, that'll do. What in the world? It's a movie called Chicken Little. I... I don't think I've seen it. So it connects... This particular spot connects to all of them. You just have to press the button. What is this supposed to be? Orange? That's orange. That... is... red. That is green. I'm sorry, are we turning ourselves? This is... This is... this is disorienting. <laughs> Thanks for the hydration, the rich touch, the potter check, and the save game reminder, Guppy. Okay, hydration! I can't actually save the game here. Wrist stretch... Ugh. Posture check. Okay. Wait, so where do we want to go? Let's go. Let's go to green. 
screen is um, that way and then that way. So now turn this and we can anchor around like that and then turn this again and nope, sorry, I get this way and then grab the little handle. Okay, which way was green? This is this is confusing. Um I think it was this way, and then... Yeah, 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 yeah. And then... Switch. And... Chat, we are... We're at green. The green dome! <gasps> oh, but look, the rail thingy is not connected. We have to... I thought maybe we are going to be able to cheat and... Go this way! From all the different locations, but look, they're not... ...aligned. Jump. I can't. There's no jumping. So... Th that is... ...the color that we don't know. Let's go- let's go to this one. That was the broken light. Can't grab the handle. Why do I feel like I hear birds chirping? Should we just assume that all of them are not connected, like, their, their little lights aren't flashing. So the only one that we have made a connection with is that one below us, which is green. No, oh, sorry, orange. And orange is the horizontal line. Right there. And it's even flashing here. There's a second set of lights on? Oh. Yeah, you're right. This is orange. This is where we came from. We want to go there. We can figure this out just by... this. This is blue. It stopped flashing. Was it flashing before or was it steady? That's the way to the dome. When connected, it's steady. When not, it flashes. Insert fire marble. Then transport it there. And then press the button. Oh, wait, the other one didn't power up like this. Or did it? Did it do that? I don't think it did. Probably needs the right alignment for the button to work. Oh, yeah, totally. 
You are correct. And so I think if I if I understand correctly, that's sending the whatever through the pipe to the book uh device. I wish I could explain this better. Here. Now can you read this? Uh into the discre no, into discrete frequency ranges which will later something for application to the book I have installed five charging stations within the expansion each one calibrated to imbue a blank fire marble with a separate something of the total energy needed a Pneumatic tube system will then convey the charges. No, convey the. I can't read this. What if I make it full screen? That's much better. Convey the charged marbles to the great gold dome on Riven for recombination. Freedom is nearly within my grasp. Okay, so. Into discrete frequency ranges which will later be recombined for application to the book i have installed five charging stations within the expanse which we're in each one calibrated to imbue a blank fire marble with a separate band of the total energy needed a pneumatic tube system will then convey the charged marbles to the great gold dome on riven for recombination okay so Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. The one. Oh, we just saw... that's why those those shapes look so familiar to me, because that's these shapes here. So we're on we're on this one right here. This that's blue. I'm sorry, orange. Orange is the the L Tetris shape. I'm just gonna draw a picture. Orange is orange is the L Tetra shape. After much screaming and cursing, you've earned eighty arena stamps in Sifu and unlocked an outfit. Just just an outfit. Okay, so we are sending the marbles. The the charged fire marbles. So you know I wanna go climb into the dome. I definitely want to go do that, but first I want to go back to orange. This one is blue. So orange was... Where's orange at? Hello? Orange? Which one's that? That's where I just came from? <laughs> this is not very easy to navigate. I... I guess we have to figure out where it is on here. That's... the unknown color. And when I spin this around... There's orange. Okay, so... That direction allows us to turn... this... uh... sphere. 360 degrees from that central location, and then when it's in this direction, we can turn it 360 degrees along the equator. So yeah, pull this, turn this, pull this, turn this, other way. We are in position, and now let's go charge a fire marble and press the button. Hi, Essen Barbour! It will snap into alignment. So it will. Now press the button. Trying to press the button. Do you mind? Press the... Boop. Why are you being a turd about this? Chat? I'm trying to press the button. Boop it harder. 
It's like stuck looking in this direction. It didn't unzoom. I'm, I'm zoomed in. I'm not zoomed in. Okay. Maybe I just had to... Exit and come back. Alright, pneumatic tube! Okay, so it pneumaticizes it... It's a word. Into... The tube. Into the dome. And then it sends it back to reality from... Non-reality. So the other three we haven't turned on or something? Pneumatis pneum pneumatizes. Okay, so let's go back to the other one now, which was I think here? And then we turned it this way. No, I think it was a little further actually. Well, this is fine too. Okay, I guess let's go this way. I think it was... here? Yeah. Yes, okay. This way, and then I need to rotate it... 360 degrees around, because it's upside down, and now it's not. Okay, and we're good to go. I want to go in the dome. Pneumatize appears to be a word. No spell trick squiggle. Pneumatize. I'm gonna go in the dome. I don't know where this is gonna take us. Take me somewhere, dome. We are spinning on the inside. Wait, this is orange. This wasn't orange. Was it orange? Pneumatized. This was orange. Um, okay then. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back the other way. Uh oh. I'll press the button again. I hope it wasn't a one-way trip. Oh uh, no, maybe it was a one-way trip. Do I have to go turn the light on again? Ugh. It's what happens when anyone tries to understand the drums in the tool song Numa. Make Pneumatic especially, to fill air with cavities. Pneumatize. The rotoscope is just broken. It seems to be broken, but I think we have to turn the light on again. The way that we got that to work was to turn the orange light on down here, and then press the button. I'm guessing the light turned off. You don't think that Osha would approve of this elevator. Osha Shmosha. No, the light is on. Or was it just broken? Because there was a... The big subtext box. Orange light on. I think it was broken. Okay. As a rotoscope artist, that made you laugh. Like, a rotoscope artist is in, you draw the pictures, and then as they turn, it makes a, makes a moving image. Okay, now run all the way around again. All the way around. All the way around. There is no shortage of walking in this game.
Press the button. Wow, I can't believe that didn't work. I could have sworn that I went in the other dome. I did. Okay, I'm glad I'm glad someone confirmed it for me because I <laughs> But it I guess maybe you can only go out the way that you came. It doesn't matter if you go in the other dome, it's... You're fairly sure I'll rewatch the video to verify. If I happen to walk back into the orange dome again, I'm, I'm just gonna facepalm, but I was fairly certain I went to the other direction. But apparently it is a, is a one-way ticket. Back to the dome you came from. Okay. So, I classified this shape as orange. The, the Tetris shape here. If you, if you find out, do let us know. I might go kind of crazy over that. Ads cut off my question. I said, rotoscope artist is in like you draw many images and when you use the device, it creates a moving picture. Rotoscope. Ooh. That's so cool. Like little voxel worlds. Hi, Aksha! You spent on computer mostly for mat generation for VFX. Oh, there was one other place that we didn't go down here. I don't even know what that means. So, notice there's another door over here. Right there. I think all we need to do is turn this sucker around. Visual effects. I know what that means, but I don't know what that means as far as... ...on the computer. What's inside the door? Apart from a really bloody looking handle? Ooh, what is this? Pull the lever! Pull the lever! So that's where we just walked across. Pull the lever. It started moving. Ever cronk. Well, as far as mysterious carriages with random drawbridges goes, this one is not the most suspicious looking, so I guess let's just go for it. I hope it's uh sealed pretty tightly. Alright, take me down into the orange liquid. You think I'm gonna get eaten by a wark? Getting Wonka factory vibes with the airlift thingamajig. What in the world is this place? Now where are we? This is really cool! Whoa, I like the aesthetic of this a lot. First off, I really, really like this flooring, this like cobblestone pathing, but also the way that the rock is twisted. Like it actually looks like it's been shaped. Sometimes an actor is filmed not on a blue screen, but the director is like, I want the sky behind them replaced. Use a rotos use rotoscoping to trace the actor so the sky can be replaced behind them. Oh. 
I did go back into the orange one. I, re really? I did? I did? You all just let me walk back into the orange dome? I like the combination of rock stone and glass walkway. It's also metal. Glass, metal, rock, and stone. This is super cool. There's a person. There's a person. There's a person. They saw me and they ran away. I kind of assumed that... And then they got in here and they ran away! Hey! Wait! Wait though, where are you going? The button doesn't work! The lightsabers and the OG Star Wars were all rotoscoped. I kind of just assumed that... If you were gonna do that, you would just... Replace the background. Witness Gen's scribe escape on the maglev. That was what we- that was what that just was. The scribe escaping. Wait, but where are we right now? This is... This is- this is a different location. A different maglev device. Than the one that we arrived on. Star Wars was before computer graphics. Yeah, yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. Does the button work now? I don't know, I was just about to run back the way that I came. Q, did someone say rock and stone? Look, I'm just trying to catch somebody's expeditious retreat. Could we please go any slower? Turn this thing around! Hit the go button! I don't know where we're going. I really don't. This is uncharted territory. Oh, it's the other way to get back to Jungle Island. Oh, no, we get to it from the other side of the maglev. We weren't able to get here because, well, we had to go from this direction. Bet he farted in the pod before he got out. Is there anything over here? Maybe there was? Am I just... Real quick, before I... Pursue in that direction. I'm gonna turn it and see if there's something on the other side. Hi there, Madlets. This game is kind of scary. I actually have found this one to be less scary than Mist, but also it's kind of scary. The big killer fish that we saw that was kind of spooky, and there have been actual people. Like, there's a button on this side for a reason, right? Mm hmm. There's a door on both sides. Chat, do you want to go in the right door or the left door? Well, I guess this is the right door. The right door or the left door? Right or left? Right or left? Left or right? Right or left or left or right? Up. Oh, there's no way to go up. Up is not an option. Look at this, though. This was a... A natural... Cave, it looks like. And they... Blew through the wall. Do they join together? I don't know. I've never been here before. Okay, right it is. Whoa. Whoa, what's this? What is this? What is that? What is that? It looks like this whole thing turns. 
I bet you this drops down. Like it did in a uh, mist on that one island. I can never remember the name of this island, but the one that had all the sound puzzles, that it had the platform or whatever that dropped down. Or it wasn't the platform, it was like that subway system thing. It dropped down to the area below. The stone ship age, yeah. First you have to get in, right? Yeah, I don't know where we're going, so obviously let's just go for it. This requires us we know how the uh control system works. Zoomed in again, or not? Set it to a position and then go? Why are there shackles inside the thing? I, I didn't see any shackles. Sell a gauge. Yeah! Hi, Telrov. Tell our kids welcome in. It's more of the heated rings. We can get a better look at them like this. This is really slow. I hope we have enough oxygen. This is the underwater pod thingy! I mean, obviously it's the underwater pod thingy, but... This is what we saw earlier. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, nobody take my pod. This place is kind of crazy. So, this travels on a ring, and that's what all four positions meant here. So this was the first stop, second, third, fourth. This probably turns it around. I'm pretty sure the horizontal control in the selenitic age, whoops, did turn it around. Yeah, there are shackles. Why are there shackles? Those seem unnecessary. So, stop one, stop two, right there. There's a third stop right here to go to this podium thing, and then there was a fourth stop right over here. So, this was one, two, three, four. Maybe? Okay, so this thing. I'm guessing, um, we just want to start pressing some buttons. Down? Down. Late stream. Or just on time stream. Hi, Boofin. Hello. Does this game give you lore, or are you just lost in the island? Uh, yes. To both. New haircut? Not exactly. <laughs> uh... Those are... Sh that's... That's why they're shackles. <gasps> oh. I see. Um, yes. You are lost on the island, but yes, you do also pick up lore as you go. So pretty much, when we arrived, all we had was a book. This book in particular. And this is Atris's book of notes. About Riven and why we're here. And so you kind of have to make sense of this. And then it just sets you on your way. And you just have to wander around kind of aimlessly and press buttons and stuff and figure stuff out. This is the same character. Yeah, this is the exact same character. It picks up literally at the end of Mist. So, like, if you achieve the 
not bad ending one or two or three because <laughs> there's actually i think four endings for mist if you get the correct ending this is the direct sequel to that and hi andy hello hello how's adventuring going oh it's really fun i'm i'm having loads of fun with this right now two books but we don't have the other for very long i do actually sort of kind of have the other book i took screenshots of it <laughs> It's not the most best way to read this, because first off, for some reason, when it takes a screenshot, it looks horrible. Like, for a screenshot of what I'm reading in person, you know, when we read this, it looks so much better. I don't know why it... The quality is so degraded. It's like a compressed photo. Good remaster? Yeah, the rem... It's, so it's a remake. It's not just a remaster. But yeah, it's it's been really good. I never played Riven. Like, the, the original version of Riven. A direct sequel to Miss. It is a direct sequel. The screenshot is bad, is what I'm saying. Yes. The other book that I was sent with that you don't really want to use. Oh, the other book. Well, that one got stolen. Yeah, we don't have the other for very long. <laughs> So, um, uh, these are shack walls for hands, and, um, so we've, we've kind of, uh, poked around a little bit and have noticed there's a lot of suggestion that people are sacrificed to the scary whale thing. And, uh, we've seen the scary whale thing a couple of times, but, yeah, there's a set of five shackles. Five, the number five. Five, five, five. And up there is definitely, like, the, the whale jaws and things. Okay, so, um, yeah. I was kind of hoping it would take us up there. You begin to think the people on this island are not very friendly. So there's a school over there. That's I think this is a, a school hut. And inside was a, a game that helped teach us how to count in their in their numeric code. And it was basically hangman ex except it was hangfish. And so, it was like roulette hang... hangman. <laughs> I don't think we can walk on it. Because there's... there's no... connection. It doesn't go any lower. I don't know what this flashing button means. Teaching the kids to gamble. Yeah, it was basically a device that went from side to side, and so as you moved the turn tracker to the other side, it spun a, a roulette wheel, and based on whatever number it landed on was the number of clicks your side's sacrificial person got dangled down or closer towards the fish. So, like, if you landed on a five, you got five clicks, you were dropped five clicks closer to the whale, the, uh, I'm guessing carnivorous whale. And so that's how we learned how to count. I've got like a, a whole thing here that of notes that I've been taking. So like we figured out that these boxes are the number system. Uh, and one cultures. I, this might be Gen's number system. I don't know. Or maybe it's the locals. But I have my original guess of what I thought the numbers were. My second guess of what I thought the numbers were. And then the actual value for the numbers. <laughs> based on the clicks. So I actually was not that far off from my original guess of like 1 versus 2 and 2 versus 3 and 3 versus 4. We learned how to count. Mm -hmm. And if you notice that the thing that I marked as 10 was actually 1, 
right here. I was off by one. Oh, it goes even higher. Okay. I don't fully understand what these buttons are doing. Okay, so this must be... Oh, I got it. Lowest position, highest position, and then middle position, which is probably aligned with the equivalent of this walkway here, but up there. So then the question is, how the heck do we get up here? I guess we get there from up here. How do we get up there? I'm not sure if we can... Oh. What is that sound? Hi, Blue and Queenie! Hello! It's a blue, a, a blue and Q raid is almost what I said. A B and Q raid. Hello. Hi, Saint of Chaos. Hi, Fable M. I thumb. Hello. Bored now. Thirsty Ferret. Claire. Hello. Hi, Jaded. Hi, Blue and Queenie. Welcome in. Coffee T Bone. Hello. Grayly Rain. Techrio. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome on in. Thanks so much for raiding over. Zaskoist? Hello! How was Fractured Veil? What is Fractured Veil? Tell us all about Fractured Veil. I don't know what that is. I hope that you had a great stream. Thank you so much for raiding over. I really appreciate you all. Welcome in. I'm Jess. We are playing Riven, the remake of Riven, which is the sequel to Mist. Miss released in 1991 or 93, I can't remember. Riven was a direct sequel to Mist, released in 1997, and last week, the remake was released. Almost 30 years later. So it is completely remade in a new engine, and it's now a first person game as opposed to point and click. And everything is interactable. Well, not everything, but it's interactable. And it's really, really, really pretty and very confusing, and we're making good progress. So, Mist, if you don't know it, and, and also Riven were originally point-and-click adventure puzzle games. So, really big into super atmospheric environments with puzzles that required solving, and really required the player to take their environment in and rely on environmental cues and lore and and things that you found in your environment in order to solve the puzzles and ultimately beat the game and so this is day three of our of our playthrough it's a survival crafting pvp slash pve game in early access Ooh, another survival crafting game i don't know how i haven't heard of this one <laughs> Was it fun? Would you recommend it? I really do appreciate you coming over. Thank you very much. Blue and Queenie is a member of the Twitch Women's Guild and actually how we met, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was the Twitch Women's Guild. And I have, I attended a, uh, a panel or not a, a workshop of Blue and Queenie's. And I absolutely recommend dropping a follow. The link is there in chat, but I will I will give you another sort of shout out if it will let me. Thank you very, very much for sharing your community with us. Have you ever played Mist or Riven before? Is this a game that you're familiar with? I was just about to climb into this, this little pod thing. I was just about to go down here. Don't... Mind my shackles. <laughs> so, <laughs> we just discovered what the shackles were for. Although, I'm a little confused because it seems like... The shackles that we found up here... Were utilized up top. So what are these shackles for, I wonder? Very suspicious. 
That was stop number one. I suppose we can head to stop number two. I feel like this is the wrong way, though. I'm having some issues with the camera. There we go. Okay, so now we're back underwater again. Never addressed, but probably for bringing prisoners to the ring. Are the two brothers from Mist dead, or are they also in Rift? That's a... That, that's technically a story spoiler. I did have the, the Mist playlist of mine pinned to the top of chat, but then my stream crashed. So we don't have that pinned anymore. Let me grab it again. Get a shareable link. So I did post this. Full Miss playthrough. This is the, the playthrough that we did earlier this year of the Miss remake. But it's a story spoiler. I don't want to spoil it. Oh, perfect! You barely remember Miss's story, just the crazy brothers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they are a big part of the story. So this is what I was talking about. This is the... the roulette hangman thing. You guess it's a mystery. That was seven clicks. Unfortunate. Yeah, so, uh... Sacrifice, it's not just... It's not just a simple game of Hangman, it's actually like a thing that they did here in this community. Sacrifice. Okay, so that was stop one, that's stop two. So then stop three... Teaching kids about gambling and death. Since 1997. Okay, that was a, a short, a short skip across the pond, literally. Oh, that hurt my ears. Okay, so now we're here at the podium. The podium! Um, somebody is controlling the camera. Hi! Wave at the camera, everybody. We're being watched. We're being watched. <laughs> we are being watched. What does this do? Oh, how convenient. Do you think it's an, an automatic tracking camera? Or do you think that uh, somebody's actually controlling it? Yeah, this was a microphone. Hi, camera and the mysterious people behind it. It's following us pretty... pretty quickly. It seems like I can't use this. Okay. So the, the fourth stop on this is actually going to be right there. But notice there's a drawbridge here and it's up and there's also a drawbridge on this side right here. And it's also up. So this was stopping me from making progress in the game. So now we've made it to the other side. Yay. Hi, Jaded. It's cool to see Riven like this. Yeah. It is really cool. I never played the original Riven. I did play Mist. Like the the original Mist. When I was younger, but never Riven. Uh oh, ad time. Ads, dang it. Hi, Rawl! So I see two ladders, three ladders, like four ladders that we can take. 
reminds you of Dark Souls with all the shortcuts and backtracking. Yeah, there's a lot of all of that. We should definitely drop this, but I'm gonna wait till the ad's over. Just a whole minute. Yeah, so I never I never played Riven. I'm kind of glad about it too because experiencing all this for the first time has been really fun. Riven is on on sale though for the Steam Summer Sale. The original version of Riven. It is on sale. For two dollars and fifteen cents. <laughs> I'm just looking at screenshots that you can't see. Okay, add over. Add over. I was I was waiting for the ad to complete. Before doing anything, thanks for, uh, hanging out through the ads. I know they're really annoying. <gasps> the original Riven looks rough. Probably super confusing to play. I mean... During... At the time when, when they were new, the graphics were stellar. This new one looks odd after FMV style of the original. It takes a certain kind of person to play. It's good though, IMO. I, I love puzzle games like this, and so... I'm still being watched, by the way. The camera can turn all the way around, and I didn't notice it was there before, when we were on the other, si other side of this bridge, which... Um, I'm going to release this now. Shortcut acquired! What are you gonna do about me now, random camera person? Is that a heater? So, yeah, having never played the original Riven, I, I think I still would have liked it, but it's been really cool to experience this for the first time without any previous experience. These are really, really small doors. Also, it looks like they can pull the wood back. They sure can. So the structures look primitive, but are they actually? If they decide they want their privacy, they just remove the front door. This is all just a reality TV show. I wonder if I pull on this lever, if it'll open the jaws of that other statue. What just happened? What was that? What just happened? Oh, something happened down there. I can't even see what that is. I don't know what's happening. A door or something is opening. Let's go look at it. No, you ain't. Oh, I don't know. So my stream restarted. As far as I can tell, you were definitely late. Mm-hmm. I have ladder fast travel on because climbing up and down the ladder was making me sick. I was getting, I was getting some simulation sickness. Yeah, it's a door. Also, it looks like there's like a little switch hooked up to a... Uh, a cord? A power line? A fuse? Something? We love to play this in VR. It 
this does have a VR version. Yeah, both Mist and Riven, their most recent remakes, are VR supported. Okay. So I guess now I'll go back down. Hi, Finnick Fox. Awesome game, but you'll get queasy if you watch. Yeah, I... I haven't really had any issues with simulation sickness except for the ladders. So... I had to turn off... Yeah, that is definitely a door. <gasps> oh, but because it's letting out steam... Look what it's doing to the water. It's making a little air pocket. Hi, Anthoric! Hi, Very Inky! Is Riven... the past version of what a river does? Carving out through a canyon? Too bad you always want to play the series. The, so the original point-and-click version of the game... Oh, no. I forgot to hit the live button on YouTube after... Ugh. I scheduled it, and then I didn't hit the button. Shucks. And this is, we've been playing for like an hour and a half, too. I can't just hit live now. That's really annoying. Shoot. Sorry, YouTubes. Yeah. It's annoying, though, because now I have to actually manually upload the stream to YouTube. I also don't know how to cancel a, a, a prepped live stream. I don't know how to be like, boom, cancel the stream. Um... Edit. More actions. Delete forever. I forgot to live... to go live. Who's late now? Um, me. I was streaming to YouTube, but here's what happened. My computer shut down. It does this occasionally. <laughs> it just shut down in the middle of the stream. So I made a new thumbnail and scheduled a new YouTube video to go live, and then I went to the bathroom and forgot to actually start the YouTube stream. <laughs> so that was my bad. But what I was gonna say is the original series are point and click, and they're not as pretty as this, but they are still fairly pretty, and you can play them like that. And yeah, they are on mega sale. Riven is like $2.15. Riven 1997. Okay, hold on. Did I go everywhere, I think? No, there was also this way over here. This ladder goes nowhere. Yeah, alright. Imagine some static images. Sounds movement versus seeing movement. Oh, the other side of the drawbridge. Sweet. All right. We have unlocked fast travel. Sort of. You tried to record the storm and your phone rebooted. Silly phone. What am I walking on? Okay, that was weird. Um... This is a dead end. Wait! Oh, shoot. I haven't been using my... Discerning... Eyeglass thingy. I haven't used this in a minute. It's so scratched up. I should have been using this everywhere. What have, what have I been doing? Okay, but here's... Here's that, uh, white paint that we can really only see if using the... the thingamabob. So we can see the paint. Whoa! Whoa! 
intrude on a Rivenese villager's privacy. That was the achievement. I figured it was five knocks. They're like, they're all about fives here. Notice how their official symbol is a five-sided star leaf thing. So like... Remember when you said this game looks scary? <laughs> Forgive us, we are new to this land and its customs. Ah. I didn't actually expect someone to be inside. I love how they... they checked and then they were just like, No, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. Was that a child? I have no idea. The shock of even seeing somebody uh, spooked me, and I I didn't really get a good look at them. Okay, so that seems like this is going to take me to the next area that we actually need to go to, but I want to finish looking around first. And see if there's more doors that we can knock on. Every time I see somebody, though, it does, it does spook me out, because in Mist, you were always alone. This, uh, except for the, the notebooks, and the, the videos that played, and the bit at the end. There wasn't really any other people, like, you were fully alone, and then, this is, that has not been the case here. Like, this world is actually alive, and people, people still live here. Sorry, Amphigori. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, you have to be a, a sub to post links, and even then, the bot has been being really weird about letting people post stuff, so I will drop it here for you. Oh. That's a weird way to get into this room. I kind of thought that these were ladders to a place, but no, these are ladders to somebody's... But I can't go this way either. You know some channels let their own clips work. I have tried and it hasn't <laughs> It's been pretty iffy about it. I've I've tried permitting my own clips and I've never had luck with making it work. I haven't tried that hard. The cooker was up on a cliff, there was wood next to it, and the fire be soaked to produce more steam. Maybe. It's a difficult one to make work, it's touchy. <laughs> Thanks, JSOG. Which is a perfectly functioning website with no problems. None whatsoever. I feel like I should probably be using my my secret side glass. So there's some sort of pigment that doesn't show up to the naked eye, but if you're using this device, it will show up here. What is this? This is the... the tree watering device. I don't really know why we want to water the tree, but... Uh, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I need to slide it or something, but it's, a, it's tied here. Do I need to, like, pick this up and pick it up over? Oh, I see. And it's on a weight, so... Oh, maybe I have to turn this. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna water the tree. I'm gonna water the tree a lot. Is this too much water? I I don't really take care of a lot of trees. I feel like that was a lot of water. But there's a there's a pipe. 
that goes all the way down and across this bridge. And it feeds into the base of this tree. Boop, boop. Maybe I should do that with my eyeglass out. Are the leaves getting more numerous and or Boop. bigger? Yeah, there's definitely more leaves, right? The tree's blooming. It's blooming. It Boop. bloomed! Now what? Now what do I do with that? Boop. I feel like that was important, but I'll just maybe give it a little bit more. Just just to be safe. Are the flowers fluorescent? Yeah, so you know that that pigment I was just talking about that you can't see to the naked eye, but you can with this thing. So like you can see the flowers there, but yeah. Whatever this version of fluorescent is. They have a dedicated watering hose for that one tree. Yeah, I feel like we should try watering this thing down here, too. Can't see what I'm watering. Now we make paint from the flowers. That might just be a, a water collection device. Okie dokie. There was already paint down here, though. We just barged in on that person and, and knocked on their door. They have paint right here. That's That's the goods. It looks like you mash it up right here and put it in that bucket, and then what you do with it? I don't know. Paint stuff. Does the pigment come from the tree? I think it might. I think it's from the tree, and then I think that the fluorescent -y moths that we've seen, I think those. Oh, shortcut! Yeah! I don't think that we can put more wood in there. I think maybe they must eat the flowers off the trees or something? Creepy. You wanted the moths feed on the flowers of the tree. Yeah, that's that's exactly my theory. Why did we do that? I don't know if, if that was something we had to do, or if that was just something we could do. What is the purpose of the looking glass? To find secrets. How is Simba? He's doing a big sleep. He's a sleepy boy. So... In the... wrong thing. In the lab that we went to, we found a note here that says why is it just the bottom half <laughs> uh. something about sniffling around the cemetery totem in the jungle in keeping with the general ineptitude of my men the dog was allowed to escape but at least the fool had the presence of mind to bring me the object in question. It is a primitive eyepiece, into which one of the native numbers has been set. Given the fact that their accursed numeric system requires you to know which way a symbol has been rotated in order to read it, however, there is no way to make any sense of it. It is probably an overestimation of the Moaiti's intelligence to suspect that there may be some greater meaning behind it, but tomorrow I shall send the surveyor out to inspect the other totems just to be safe. So, 
he's referring to these totems right here, which you have to know the direction in which this is set to know which number it is. So you can't tell until you have this thingy, and now we can actually see the marking and know how to set it. This is actually the only use I've found for it so far. <laughs> is to determine that. Um... Actually, let's go back. I feel like there must have been something else to do here. There must have been something else to do. What's with the tree? I don't know! I don't know. Can't see useless. Them maybe might have just been... It, it was probably... If it doesn't do anything besides bloom like that, it might have just been a demonstration. This to hopefully get you to, like, pick this up and look at it. It was probably a hint. If I had to guess. So, like, if we hadn't discovered that device, and... I hadn't already figured out that the flowers on the tree glow. Like, when you come up here, and you deal with the tree, and then it blooms. I'm, I'm guessing it was meant to be a hint. Because at some point, maybe, you would think to take this... Okay, it's not working. Take this thing, pick it up, and look at the tree. Also, some of the leaves fell off, right? The flowers? Was it after we walked over there? Are we glowy now? Do we glow? What happened to the rest of the flowers? And it's probably just world building. Like, look how they do these things. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it was a combination of world building, world building and also hint giving. Give it more water. Okay, I can do that. Hey, wait, how do we get over to that thing? Can we even get over to that thing? Is it blooming more? I can't tell. Yeah, it definitely is, right? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. And we can come back later and see if the flowers are diminished. Happy tree. Happy little tree. Is there anything else here? Because at this point now, I feel like we're sort of... ...stumped. As in, I don't really know what else to do. If I take this thing back over to the last position, we maybe can access that door? Uh, whoops. Would I like a tiny hint? Nope. I'll ask if I want a hint. Okay, to the next spot. Yeah, to this spot. Wasn't there a ladder I decided to not go up? I... Yeah, there's a ladder right here. <laughs> That's the ladder I was looking for. Uh, I think we need to move this thing. It's kind of in the way. 
Although, if it wasn't here, would the water be out of the way? I'm guessing that turns it around. Yeah. Forwards. The water would be in the way without the pod. So I'm noticing that these two circles are lit up. I feel like that is indicating which platforms are heated. Yeah, this the platform is still heated. This water is special and it contains a microbe that is thermophobic. So if there's heat, it uh it moves away from the heat, which means the water will displace itself. <gasps> Sounds unsafe to drink. Do I need to deal with the fish again? Up on the roof? The ladder fast travel is really disorienting. Imagine trying to cook with it. Uh... Okay, it's open. It's open, it's open. Okay, so... Now... We're in the water. Now, the door is open! I don't know why it closed. There's actually people living here and we're just running around messing with their stuff. Yep. Pretty much. I'm trying to make cardboard eggs, but the water keeps jumping out of the pot. Oh! That's pretty sneaky, isn't it? Okay, so we need our secret looking device. Turn this into the correct position. I'm gonna take a screenshot. And in my notebook, this notebook, I have been keeping track of the numeric order in which I found these. So, jungle thingy number one. This is jungle island number thingy number four. And as far as if we have a number for this, I don't think so. You full screenshot. Let's just look at it in person. In person is more better. Um, I don't have a symbol for that. Once the water boils, it kills the microbes and it can make your hard boiled eggs. Okay, so that was lined up, right? Mostly? Yeah? That's it? That's all that's down here? There may be some interpolation involved. There's a hole in the roof, or just a lamp? Uh, the water has indigestion. It's just a... It's just a hole in the roof. Uh, nope. 
I always think that the, the notebook should be there. But it's not. It's here. So... This was a six. Because of the way that these are positioned, I got the numbers for this in the school. Okay, let's go to the school real fast. I just have to stand here. I just have to stand here. Okay. I was worried for a second that we would have to go swimming. We don't know how to swim. The wooden door has motion sensors. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Don't all of your wooden doors have motion sensors? I think I can just run over there? No, I can't. The moving camera that's following me around is creepy as heck. Backwards! I was so sleepy today. <sighs> it looks like this goes another direction right here. Um, I think it went too far. Where am I going? Okay, that was where I was trying to go. Never mind. So here's the... I think this is the school. And there was this number thing on the side here. So... What I'm looking at is... This poorly drawn thing in my notebook. We figured out, like, what these symbols mean, so like... This symbol right here, which is this symbol right here, is a three, and then there's a symbol here that like that's a that's a three, right? So the part that confuses me, like I, I kinda get the idea where like this is a six, three, and then two of them is a six. Uh, actually, I skipped. I didn't write this one down. Five. But that's probably because the game crashed earlier, and I forgot to come back and write this down. I'm missing the... I am missing the horizontal line symbol. Yep. There are six of them, and now I have six. So that's five. So, three, five, six. That is ten. That is one. One, three, Five, six. Three plus three, six. This one is five. Three plus two. So is is this bottom portion then two? I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that that is two. As far as when it starts to, like, double up on it, I don't know about that. One... Two, three. So there's three different positions. There's the... The top left... 
the top right, sorry, the top left, the top right, and then the bottom. So one, three, and then two is the other position, and I'm guessing you just add them from there? So like five, this symbol is the three symbol, and what I'm guessing is two. This one is six. Oh wait, no, that doesn't quite work out, does it? Because that's one and three. Can we turn it over? Um, no, I don't think so. I'm still gonna guess that's two, though. So this symbol is eight. So four plus four? Or two... Squared is still four. Um, this symbol right here is 10. So 1 plus 1? Maybe it's 4 and 4. Oh, I actually wrote this symbol down in the 4 spot. Well, that would make sense, though, because then... 5 symbol, which is this one and this one, would be... No, it wouldn't. Oh, hold on. I'm getting confused by the other numbers. I should just cross these out. There's... the old numbers that I wrote down that my brain is defaulting to. That's why the numbers keep changing. Okay, they're crossed out now. So if this is three... This is one. And that is three. And then this is five. So it's three plus two, maybe. And then, this one right here is 1 plus 3. No. Yeah. No, yeah. 1 and 3. Which would be 4, but it's not. It's actually 6. <laughs> this is confusing! Hi, Sibin Nira. Niras? Hello. This brings back memories. Not for me, because I, I didn't... I've not played Riven before. Okay, this is just assuming that I got my numbers right in the first place. Now I'm... Now I'm worried that my numbers are wrong. But this is... Six. Let me just... Test my theory again. Two. That's what I that's what I have. Well, need the game to reset. This is how we learn to count, flamethrower. Okay, that was three. Yeah, that's what I have written for three. And that was one. Which is what I have written for one. Two. One again.
Yeah, I'm four. Okay, so I'm I'm fairly confident that I have our our numbers our number sequence our number sequence correct, which then if. This piece of paper is telling us what these six numbers equal, then there should be some combination here. Yeah, this was the direct sequel to Mist. So we're still playing the same character that we were playing in Mist. So this first symbol right here is seven. This one. We haven't showered since mist. We're probably a little travel worn. <laughs> Just a little sweaty. The sun has never gone down though, so I think it's the same day. Uh, sorry, it's not seven, it's eight. I should probably cross out my other numbers too. This is eight. Yeah, I'll just cross them out. Um. This one is one. This one is ten. This one right here is five. This one is three. And yeah. Okay, I just got crossed out my other numbers. I'm getting- I'm confusing myself. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Scribble, 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 Okay, so I'm guessing then that this downward position right here is four. Because if this is one and that is three, then how did we get five from this? Right? Like, this has to be three plus- wait, two? No, hold on, sorry. Um, this is six. I don't know. Top number is nine, right? The top number is eight. The top one is, is eight. Which is why I was thinking four, because four plus four. And then this one right here is 10. So if this is one, so like one, two, six, 10. Seems reasonable. But then that theory is quashed by five right here because if this is four and this is three, then that should be seven. But it's five. So if, if this was actually five, it should be this symbol. How the heck do you get eight from two symbols that are two? <laughs> I don't- so I don't think that's two. They give us one, three, six, eight, ten. You get eight from three and five. Which one was eight? Mm, this one? Three and five? But this one is five. And this one is three. Oh, not the red markings, those make- Oh yeah, three, like this is three. And that's five and put them together and it makes eight. That kind of works and yeah, no, that's also how seven comes together. Four plus five is nine. That sort of checks out. Okay, but so if we go to the other side, there was this note here. 
that had some weird symbols on, up here, which are completely different. So it's... Maybe it's just turned the other way around. These are not symbols that we had before. Like, first off, there is no V with the the point facing downwards. There's only the V in the leftwards position. And then there's no number with the square in the top right, only in the bottom right. Yeah, the paper note said it made no sense, but it said it made no sense if you didn't know how the... It was calibrated. So, flip it. I... Yeah... But it looks like it's specifically meant to be held this way. But even so... Oh yeah, if we look at it from the other side... Then it makes sense, and it's four and... Except... Except the... The rounded part's still in the wrong spot. I don't know. Maybe this is homework that they did wrong. Yeah, I, th I think that maybe you're right. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's it's there too. Okay. So, I don't... I don't really... I don't know what this means. Is that a stamp? That is a stamp. Yeah, that's a stamp. I did crank the handle on the ball, yeah. Do they have a number for zero? It doesn't seem like it. Or I haven't found it yet. But that could be the mystery symbol that I keep finding. And I would say that the squares need a specific direction because this symbol right here means 10, but if you turn it the other way, it becomes two. And same with, uh, this one. Okay, I'm not really sure how this makes... how this works out, okay? Because... Like, this symbol right... Here is five, and this one right here is six. So how do you go from five, six? I don't know. An empty square would be the Denise symbol for zero, if they have that concept. An empty square. You think the red symbols don't follow any mathematical rules? They are chosen willy-nilly. Oh, I don't know. It's really frustrating. So when you turn that, it just it plays a prediction. It's like a pre-recorded lesson. And the audio and the, the mouth are not synced. Yeah, so I feel like this is the alphabet on the wall. You thought that was Biden. 
The red symbols are on the totem thingies, yeah. That's what we saw here. This is five. Oh, but it wasn't turned the right way. This was the first one. This is six, which I, I wrote down. Six. And... That one is one. This one is... Unknown, because I can't make sense of... I can't make sense of it. I don't have that symbol, and, um, I don't know what it is. This one is... Five. So, yeah. Six. One. Unknown and five. I should delete this other one before that confuses me at some point. Delete screenshot. Oh! This makes sense now, too. I'm, I'm getting that. <laughs> now that. Now that we looked at it, this was orange. And we still have a long way to go, then. We've only figured out... Two of the pieces? Uh... So we've kind of gone around the whole loop here. I haven't figured out how to get up here yet. Let me see if... we're missing something. Suddenly, shift is toggling walk? It was toggling sprint before. Guess we're just in full sprint mode. All the time. I'm very confused. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like whoever lives here must get a lot of working out. Oh yeah, Caps did toggle it. Good call. So where was... Where was that thing I was just looking at? Where I said, how do I get up there? We were like over here? Someone's got to turn this massive handle. Imagine taking all those steps every time you have to get a snack. Be very in shape. So the other thing is... There's still a puzzle over here that we haven't solved yet. There's another dome, by the way. I don't know how we solve this one. Unless... <gasps> the lights! Oh, the lights, chat. I mean, what if we have to turn on the light... ...on the other island... ...in order to open that? I bet that's what it is. It's a... ...big scary whale. How do we get back over there? How did I get here in the first place? Um... We have to go to Survey Island, and how did I get here from Survey Island? Where did I come from, and where did I go? Uh... We came from... Where we just... came from. <laughs> I think it was this way. How did we get here? 
Came from the other side of Survey Island. Don't mind me. I'm not. I'm not here to disturb you when you're sunbathing. I just. You don't have to go. I'm. I'm leaving. I'm okay. They left already. I'm so turned around. How did I get here from Survey Island? Can't afford to be drunk. I feel like you can't afford to be drunk anywhere around here. This whole place has actually been really treacherous. Um. Wait. How did we get here? feel like... I don't know. I'm having a brain fart. I... I remember we... We took the maglev over this way, but where did it... Eject me from? Maybe it was back here or something? No? How did I get here? <laughs> um, the underwater cart brought me here. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, it did. The underwater cart. That's how we got here. Uh, the underwater cart is over there. Yeah, I was in some cave, thanks. Thank you, I... I kind of just forgot that whole detail. Now, how do I get to the underwater cart? <laughs> it's this way. This place has got me a little turned around. It's a- it's a really big maze. Okay, so... We want to put this back in- Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The parking position. And then the camera's being weird again. There we go. Then hopefully this will take us back. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I heard, I heard that. I heard a yeah, 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 yeah. Did I just not put it in the sound effect list? Perhaps not. Remember how I said there was another direction? That's because that's the way we came from. I conveniently forgot all about it. Okie dokie. This is where we came from. Alright. Whee! Underwater Hyperloop. Hi, some tactic? Yeah, this is the sequel to Mist. It sure is. But it's the remade sequel to Mist. It came out last week. Oh, I pulled the lever. I didn't mean to. Please don't transport me. Okay. Whew. So this is a faithful remake of Riven. Titled Riven. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, there's a door on the other side. We didn't even go over there yet. I forgot all about it. Apparently, going right was the correct way. I guess we have to go check that out, too. So let's turn this thing around. I forgot we, we were chasing a scribe. I just, I got so caught up in whatever we were doing. Discovering the underwater loop-de-loop -loop that I forgot that we were following the scribe. There is an elevator here. Elevator called. Hi, Oblivion Knight! Although, um, there's an ad, so probably nobody can hear me. I shall wait until the ad is over. What did I say? What?! I'm feeling kind of loopy. Speaking of loops, I'm feeling kind of loopy and probably because all I've eaten since breakfast is candy. <laughs> I'm- I'm probably in need of 
some proper food. I feel kind of loopy. You can hear me all the way to Australia, even through the ads. That's amazing. Loopy can be good. But this is how you end up not remembering how you arrived in the place where you're at. Okay, like if I if I had been fueling myself off of proper food, then I would have probably remembered how I got here. No ads for you. Do you have turbo? Fancy, fancy turbo. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. There's a uh, there's an ad break for another one second. Uh, ad break has ended. Your community is back. Okay, so if you missed it. Uh, we turned this whale-shaped maglev device around, and there's another door with an elevator. And I call the elevator, and now we're gonna pull the handle and go up. Hi, transit biker. Yeah, this is Riven. <gasps> it's the other side of the head. I knew it opened up into stairs. Wow. I knew it. I knew it. I feel like if I press this button, it's going to close it. Or not. Just want to look at that anyway. Yay! Okay, we made it up top, finally. I already broke the button. Yes. Shortcut unlocked. And there's another dome over there, but first I'm gonna go this way. Oh. Hear that? Am I supposed to know which one this is? This requires me going back to the other island. I think. I guess we could guess. So, I've got this really poorly drawn um, thing right here. We figured this out from another puzzle that this shape right here is yellow. This shape is blue. This shape is unknown because it was broken. This is red. This was orange and this is green. And all of these align to these certain dome devices. So basically, I'm just going to hit the button on each one of these symbols. Skipping orange and uh, see what happens. I had screenshots. Yeah, but I can, I can just try pressing the button. I think I missed it. I don't know. I don't know if I can, like, stop it on a certain... Um... It's really gotta be a good guess. I'm guessing it's not the yellow one. Or blue. Oh, wait, I... The blue was... Blue is the... Ugh. The vertical with the dot in the center. And this is just assuming I'm pressing it at the right time. Um, red... I don't think it's gonna be red. Whoa! Apparently it's red! Apparently it was red! Okay, red. It was red. I did it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> First try. Yay! Red symbol. Okay. Um, real quick. Let me access my notebook. So yeah, it was that one right there. That was the symbol. Um, uh, this one. View full screen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm drawing a picture. 
I didn't actually expect that to work. That was really exciting. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. I feel like at some point this is going to matter, so I'm just making a drawing of the shape of this island. So... It's really hard to tell what I'm looking at, but I just drew uh, that right there. But I was looking at this thing over here on this teeny tiny thing. It's like this little itty bitty shape. Am I being smart solving puzzles? Yes! I just solved one! I just solved one. Look at this. I stopped one of the, sp one of the spinning domes. Okay, but I'll come back because I gotta go up here. <gasps> What's this? Open the door. Look at streamer being smart, smart. That was the was that jungle island in the distance of the screenshot. Maybe. Look at the size of this thing's jaw. And here's... I still can't figure out how to get over there, though. I don't know that we're meant to get over there. Okay, save the game. That's a good idea. I haven't saved in, uh, four hours. <laughs> Auto saves, though. Oh, hey, look, look, it, uh, it closed that, so now we can walk on it. Okay, bye. What does the other lever do? It did exactly that. That actually did need to happen. Wow, so somebody stands up there with levers and it's just like... It's time to open the floor so you can be sacrificed to our giant whale god. Have fun being eaten. Okay, now we're gonna get eaten by this thing. <gasps> it's happening. All these devices are not very efficient. I think somebody was a fan of uh, getting exercise through obscurity. <laughs> so this part's the really trippy part. We're gonna go inside this dome and come out the other side and we're gonna be in... in the void. The space in between. Nowhere and everywhere. A great divide. I, I don't... <laughs> Security through obscurity. Uh, but we have to align the platform first. Okay, so we've already done this a couple of times. Someone needed to learn point use point of use organization. In the original, the domes had a different purpose, and the expanse didn't exist. Interesting. Okay, now that we've aligned that main terminal thingy, now we have to use this thing. So we open up to the side, we put a fire marble inside the pneumatic tube, and then we point it towards the terminal, press the button, charge the marble, using expanse power, I guess. And then it gets pneumatized up through here, back to actual reality, and sent to the main dome. So now we've done that three times. And then... There was one thing I wanted to do, which was go to the other dome. So this one was red. Right? And that's red. 
This one. Yeah, I want to go to that one. Okay, so... Turn this. I was trying to go here earlier, and I just... Did a silly and went to the completely wrong dome. <laughs> I'm trying to leave through a different dome. This should take me somewhere else on the island. Theoretically. I don't know where on the island this is, but it should eject me to a new place. This is the director's cut. They did uh, have to remake, the, rewrite certain parts of the story. The hey, who turned out the lights? The uh, little bit of flavor text I received from the devs when I got this key was that upon deciding to remake Riven, they found out that they lost all their assets. <laughs> like 99% of their art. So... This is the secret island! Oh, we had no idea where this was! How do I get back from here? Uh... So they had to remake everything, and in the process of remaking the whole game, because it was... This is a- this is- this is Prison Island! Arrive on Prison Island! Oh, and I just got two achievements. Just got two different achievements. Uh, yeah. He who numbers but does not name. Visit every island in the age of Riven. Life is taken and age is given. Is the other achievement I got. Arrive on Prison Island. We're on the last island. Yeah, so we kind of knew that there was another island because of... I should have taken a screenshot of it, but on Survey Island, there were five different... landmarks. And this one was hidden. Were you about to find Catherine? There was that creepy... the creepy, uh... footage. It's a big tree. Yeah, and it's been cut down, too. So, uh, yeah, they, uh, they lost their original assets, and in the process of remaking everything from scratch, they kind of rewrote a little bit. They had to add more details and embellish and change certain details in order to flesh out the universe a little bit and provide more consistencies. Okay, so this one... The leaf is... This is blue, I think. Though it's just a single square. So to leave, we need to hit it when it's vertical with a dot. That was... Okay, good enough. Sweet. That's how we leave. And I think this is probably gonna be Catherine. We might find somebody here. Uh, if I can figure out how to open the door. again. I actually... Have we even encountered anything that has that has given a hint for what this might be? You'd have left if I guessed the combination right off the bat. I'm guessing it's just a... I guess there could be like any number in there. It's a dome looking thing. What does this button do, though? Okay. 
There's a if it's only three, there's a finite number of combinations. Can I just do that one? Try pressing the button after every time. Is it like, do we do one, two, three, and then submit it, and then press the button to open? Buttons, then white button, then lever. I don't know. Or is it buttons and then lever and then button? Does it always ding on the same press of the button? Hi, rise all right. Hello, welcome in. Yeah, it seems like this is snap, trill, ding. I have context subtitles on, so that's why there's... It's telling us what sound it is. I'm just trying to figure out what this button does. I feel like maybe this is a reset. Maybe it would be like one, two, three, or one, two, three, or one, two, three. I feel like we'll probably need a, a few more hints. We could try brute forcing it, but... I feel like it's probably longer than three digits. Or... Or three individual pieces. Uh, I don't know what else it could be. That idea was gone as soon as it came to my brain. I was thinking maybe it could be... The comp- no, that doesn't make any sense either. So the, the combination of... those... Uh, these things. Here. Those are what the natives use for keeping track of numbers. So I don't think that that has anything to do with the code here. As far as other codes go, I didn't see any in the lab. If it was in the book, in the lab itself, I didn't see anything. And I also haven't noticed any other sound cues. This is the first time that we've had a sound puzzle. Okay, I'm gonna come back. That's that's frustrating. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty sure that's where they're keeping Catherine. So, uh... Okay. We're one step closer. You can't see any hints or tips. Neither can I. All right, take it away. We're going back to the expanse. So then there's still two more of these domes. Three more of these, no, two. Wait, but there were... There's five... Locations in the Expanse, but there were six symbols. Did 
This actually works pretty well as fast travel too, because I think this might be the fastest way to travel between islands. If you... If you know what you're doing. I want to go back to Survey Island. You know, whenever we get there, my goodness, it's taking forever. Oh, we're already here. <laughs> we're already here. He's got to turn around. Was... What island was that tree? That was... That was the last island. Island 5. Of 5. And there's... I want to go back to... Survey Island. Which is that one right there. Okay, so... Turn this way. Turn this way. Yes, that, that is orange. Okay, so... This should take us back to Survey Island instead. This is why I was saying that I think this is actually... Faster than traveling across the... The whole game itself, or like the whole islands in the game. We just let this take us one one reality to the next. Whenever we get there. If these were to break, these seem instrumental in keeping things from breaking. <laughs> okay, so now we're on Survey Island. Because we're literally popping between locations using those domes. Is that camera following me around? It was just the one. Maybe the other one was just like an auto-tracking camera. Okay. Uh, oh, the elevator. Um, oh. Careful where you put your head. So, over here... I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. So, this was where we just came from, right there. That was the fifth island. So, we are here. This is Survey Island, and it has the L shape. This is, um, Jungle Island, which is where we just spent a bunch of time. This is the main island. And then this one is... Uh... Boiler Island. So we've already done the marble transfer from here, from here, and from here. And we still need to do it at these two locations, but I wanted to also go and look at that super creepy uh, footage. Secret code. The secret code that you punch in to go to the secret place beneath the island. And this is where all the creepsters are, okay? So, this thing, that, which one of these symbols does not belong? That's the question. So... Window 1. This was... This one, this one, this one... Yellow? Yellow doesn't belong? This is Boiler Island. This is looking out towards Boiler Island, so I don't know what color this is supposed to be, but... What was the shape of Boiler Island? On... Hold on. 
it's actually easier to look at the screenshot I just made. Boiler Island, which is a square. And then the last one, green. Okay. So, yeah, one of those shapes does not belong. And, oh, I guess I should explain what I mean. So these are the five symbols aligning to the domes on their island. So I should have figured that one out sooner, but like these are the symbols that we use to stop the dome. And this one, I don't know what island that is. That's Jungle Island. This one... Is Survey Island, I guess. This one is Boiler Island. This one is... This one is the main island itself, and that is the Prison Island. So this is what they are coded to, and they point directly at those islands as well. And then this is a further breakdown of that, based on the symbol. So that's Prison Island with the single square. This is... the main island, I think. That's Jungle Island. That's Survey Island. That's Boiler Island. That's the main island and that's the prison. And so we need to send the energized marbles to the main dome on the main island from the expanse. And what, what was the point of all this? Oh, yeah. One of these shapes does not belong. And that is this one, I think. We only have five symbols. And this one's broken. Oh, wait, no, this one. Yellow. Where does this go? When the time comes, we'll use our powers of deduction. There's like there's only five domes that we're aware of that I saw. There's only five islands, but there are six symbols here and six different lights. And this is our friend. Pretty sure this is the creature that they're sacrificing people to. How do we know it doesn't belong? You may have been distracted by an app game. You're playing with your mom. <laughs> it's a carnivorous whale fish. Um. Let me... Okay, so this is Prison Island. This one is... I think I can most easily explain it if I, if I do this real fast. Uh, Survey Island. Prison Island. Survey... Island. Main island. Oh no. Yeah. Question mark, question mark. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. This is this is my uh <laughs> These are my notes, uh, here. So, there are six symbols on this thing in front of us. Let me close this. Here we go. So there are six symbols, right? That align to these symbols here. 
So the, or my notes say, blue with a single square, that is Prison Island. Or I have the question mark, and then here, this like box, that's Boiler Island. Red calls the, the wark, which I spelled wrong, but that's Jungle Island. And then there's orange, which is Survey Island, and then green, which is the main island. But then there is a, another, another color up there, yellow. Question mark, question mark. One of these things is not like the other. I don't know. So... Remember that creepy camera that was following us around? I think... This is where we just were. I think this is... This is Catherine and she's in prison. On Prison Island. Carnivorous whalefish has tusks. Statue of people getting sacrificed to has tusks. Fish do not normally have tusks. Therefore, you think the whalefish is the sacrificial monster. I don't think there's anybody here again. Maybe there is. He's... Is he talk? He's talking to somebody, right? So yeah, Main Island, Jungle Island, Survey Island, and then this right here is Boiler Island. This camera is on Survey Island. Jungle Island, Main Island, Boiler Island, and then Prison Island was like out there somewhere. And then this awesome camera was the one that was following us around. While we were, uh... Doing some stuff down here. This was the one that was spying on us. So the only thing that I can think left to do, that we have left to do, is to go back to... Uh, Jungle Island. And step on that... Sacrificial platform. But since we closed that that bottom segment below the water, we should be able to step on that and then like ride it up. And again, it would probably be faster just to take the dome. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's faster just to take the orange dome. Although. I think the orange dome is kind of broken. I think we have to turn on the orange light for the orange dome to work. I don't know that it will just let us stop it. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll just... I don't want to go all the way back down. I'll just go the long way. How to get there? It's just... It's just timing? Is it really? Oops. Did, did I do it? Don't think so. Yeah? Okay. Okay, time sequence without a run button? And I just started spamming on the buttons. <laughs> I don't know what actually made it stop. Patient, let's go. If 
Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're here. So now we want to go towards red, which is also the, the cat eye looking one. Uh, not that one. Not, oops. Oh yeah, wait, it's that one. this whole thing to be a little bit confusing. Not because it's actually confusing, but because it's... <laughs> an obscure way of navigating a space. Okay, up to the dome. This one, this one we go up. Uh, is this the right way? Yeah. Okay, I don't think we're gonna finish this game today, but we might be able to finish it tomorrow. I feel like we made a bunch of progress. I think we are very, very close. Yeah, 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 let me out. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Let me make sure that that platform is still... Is still, uh... Closed. Before I... Manage to find myself all the way... Back... Below. And even get that little cart thing to push us around. Yeah, okay, it's still closed. So, where did I leave that thing? It's actually... It's on that island. Or not the island. Wait, it can only be reached through the maglev. Ugh, it can only be reached through the maglev, which means we can only reach it from... <laughs> Survey Island. Dang nabbit. I guess we should uh, take the, the dome. I think that's theoretically faster. Which one is this one? Red? It's gonna be... Oh, I didn't press the button. It's gonna be... I guess I was one off. I guess I was, I was still one off. <laughs> Is this not right? Okay, um... Yeah, no, it, this is totally right. Am I just pressing it at the wrong time? Maybe I'm pressing it too early? Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna walk. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 I just remembered. We can take this thing all the way down to the maglev. I just remembered. This goes all the way down. It is a. It is. It, it goes all the way. It's a full way trip. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So this thing, we jump in this and turn it the other way. I think my least favorite part about this game has been trying to navigate from one space to the other. Because it's a lot to keep track of. Yeah, I feel like you have to have a really good sense of direction. Uh, wait. Where am I going? Yeah, no, this is right. Then we climb up here. We climb into you. And I want to go to the first location. All right, now we're on our way. I really hope this works. I'd be kind of disappointed if it doesn't. So it looks like all of this was once underwater, and they're just using a heated ring to stop the water from entering that cave. Yes, this is where I want to go. Okay, perfect. we go. So now we can walk on this, yeah? And then I'm gonna call this thing all the way down. It'll take its sweet time, but it's coming down. Have a good one, JSOG. Thank you for being here today. I think we should just be able to go stand on this. Yes! I press the button? Maybe I didn't press the button. We're going up! Yes! Up, 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 up. Have a good one, JSOG. Thank you for being here today. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. What if that's the prison? I didn't even think about that. Now that we're here, what if this is the prison? <gasps> There's a person in there. There is totally a person in there. Are they dead? No, they're 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 alive. And, uh, now they're free! What? What? What the heck? They pulled a Houdini. <laughs> yeah, they did. What in the world? Well, what if somebody locks me in here? I have to sit here and wait for the whole thing to open and close. I'm so perplexed. Where did they go? Is this just game logic? Or is there like a secret moving door back there? I can't disengage while that is turning, but I feel like there's a door back here that's moving. Like this must be turning, right? They're an octopus and they escape through the drain. 
I feel like there's gotta be a secret door. Especially because when I back up like this... You see how there is light here? You see that? That's what makes me think that there is something behind here. But I can't push this handle and go look while the handle is handling. Someone's got to turn it, you know? Maybe I'm just going to leave it open. I'm just going to leave it open. really get marooned here, though. If any of these other people around the island decided they wanted to lock me here, they could. Because all I have to do is pull that lever that's up there, and I don't think I can get back down without getting eaten by a, a creepy shark. Maybe there's something that helps you see things that are hidden. <laughs> oh! Use my fancy device? No. Never. I would never have believe such a thing. What is that? Hmm? Can't see a dang thing. Okay. That's okay. Eyesight not needed. Well, I guess it's technically not true! <laughs> what I should say is light not needed, because apparently this glows in the dark. What the heck? <laughs> Lens of truth time. Am I... Am I in a cutscene? Or am I just stuck? Is something happening here? Slash stuck? Slash unstuck? You think stuck. I can't load or save. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta jump. I can't. I'm just entirely. Nothing is working. Except the zoom. Don't worry. If you need to zoom, I've got it covered. <laughs> Broke the game. Hi there, 20 ID baby spinach. <laughs> Um, okay. Well, so, uh, the game is, uh, broken. It's broken. We broke it. Hi, Lang! Hello! Hi, Lang! Thanks for raiding over! I think I am modless. How was EU4? Thanks for coming on over! We were playing Riven, and then I got stuck. I, I got- I got stuck here in the game. I broke it. So, um... What I was just about to say before you raided over, which I appreciate, was that I'm already on late, so I'm probably just gonna... 
force quit the game and call it there for the day? Since I have to force quit. I can't load or save. So my only option is to quit. I mean, maybe opening the options would fix it and... No, still stuck. It was great. New start as the Inca. Gonna colonize Europe back in this timeline. Nice. I still haven't played it before. Pretty sure the game saves automatically at intervals. I think you're right. I think you are correct. So, even though the game is stuck, we're, we're stuck. And our future is bleak. We can always force quit the game and load back up. And this would be like the fourth time now that I have needed to load from an autosave. And they've been pretty reliable, so I think, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> quit before it saves with me here. I mean, I guess we could try quitting and then loading back up just to make sure it works. Before I promise you all tomorrow that we'll pick up from where we got stuck. 